Hi guys, how are you? Today I wanted to make a video about my favorite lipstick products and this is a video that I've been putting off for mm, about three years now and maybe even four years. Ever since like 2013 I've been putting off making this video and it's partially because I never felt the timing was right and that's also due to fear because I don't know it's also because a major part of it was because I was afraid to put up a video that I've never was like I never felt was perfect because I don't know how to edit videos, I've never known how to, I never knew how to edit songs into videos or how to cut out random parts of videos, so I still don't know how to do that now, but I'm okay with that, like I've gone, gotten over it and I still want to make videos regardless, so yeah, I'm still gonna be making a video today regardless of the fact that I can't edit videos, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something that's really interesting to me and important to me and that is my lipstick collection because it's something that I've been, you know, trying to, I've been growing it and these are the lipstick products that, they sort of define me, you know, they're there for me when I'm having a bad day. I know that sounds depressing but I guess like everybody has their hobbies, like some people are into like, I don't know, sports or some people are into um, other types of things, but I'm really into lipstick, like I love watching YouTubers talk about products, I love collecting lipsticks because it's fun for me to collect something that I could later wear and, you know, just a way of expressing my individuality. I really like makeup for that reason, especially lipstick because I don't really know how to do other types of makeup as well, like I don't, I'm not like, I can't even do bronzer, like I just, no. But yeah, so basically, these are going to be high-end products, low-end products from the drugstore from ColourPop, like Ultra Satin Lips, uh, Liquid Lipsticks. It's going to include some Jordana Lip Liners, some NYX products, some Sephora products, just a whole range of products that I really recommend. And I'm going to be just swatching them on my hand, so hopefully you will enjoy that. Hopefully you will find colors that you like, and or at least, at the very least, you'll just get to see what, what kind of stuff that I like, right? So I'm going to first start by talking to you about this color that is on my lips currently and this is uh, Fiery by Stila which is a very you know popular color and it is a stay all day Stila liquid lipstick so it has a really great formula. I find that you could wear it, eat a little bit, you won't really have to reapply much. It has the best formula, like literally one of the best liquid lipstick formulas and it's one of my favorites. Um, this Stila Fiery, and you get it at Sephora, I think it's about 20 bucks, and that's, this other Stila one that I have that's really nice is called Stila Dolce, which is a nice nude also from this line, I really recommend. So that's a really nice color, and also another really nice liquid lipstick that I recently got from Sephora is this Smashbox lip, liquid lipstick in the color Driver's Seat, but yeah. It's the print on it is really small, but it's this type of color that I'm gonna swatch this one. That one I don't really have to because it's like a blue toned red. It's like on my lips, you know. But this one is a really nice. It's a really unique color. It's sort of warm and terracotta y, but it's just so nice. I've seen pale skin tones rock this color. It doesn't really. It's not limited to like having a warmer skin tone like I have. You could really rock it with any type of skin tone and also this formula on the Smashbox liquid lipsticks I think it's a little bit more pricey than the Stila I think it's a smaller container so you're getting less product and also for a more price but it's really worth it and it smells really nice too like for me smell is like a major major selling point and yeah it smells great so you can't go wrong with those and there's also some really nice other colors in this line by, by Smashbox and those include Babeler I think and Stepping Out. Those three colors are really nice. Okay so actually I will swatch the Stila one just for you guys to see. So the applicator is so good. Oh my god it smells amazing. Like, amazing and if you don't do reds get Stila Dolce, it's a really good nude, but yeah, that's the Stila Fiery, and that's Driver's Seat by Smashbox. Really, two really pretty colors. Um, another color that I really like, it's a color that I discovered last year, it's a YSL Rouge Pour Couture line, it looks like this, and it's a, lip a lipstick in the color, hmm, I don't have it, but I think it's called Rouge Vermilion, and these smell like roses. 
I think it's called either Rouge Vermilion or something like that or something, Rouge Stiletto, one of those two. But it's this color right here. It's like a very nice berry. By the way, this looks like a berry on the camera, but it's a red. Like, see, it's like a blue tone red. That's Steel of Fiery, Smashbox, um, Driver's Seat, and YSL, YSL Rouge Vermilion, I think. But yeah, so those three colors are very, very nice. I love those three. Those are from Sephora. This is another really nice color from Sephora. It's from the Kat Von, it's from the Urban Decay, um, Vice lipstick line. It's called Hitchhike and it's a comfort matte finish. I think, first of all, the packaging on these is just so pretty. Like, it's so beautiful. The Vice lipsticks by Urban Decay. And this color right here is how it looks. The color Hitchhike. And it's a matte finish, but it's not drying at all. It is so pretty. And I totally gravitate towards these terracotta colors. They make me feel like most happy and I think they look prettiest on like every skin tone. This one, so good. Hitchhike by uh, Urban Decay. So pretty. And another color that I would say like similar to that range is by Kat Von Z in the color Lolita in the Studded Kiss line, not the liquid lipstick line. And I've had this color since summer and I've already like used it all up, which would indicate that it's a good color. Like I've been using it and if I had to dye and could only take like two lipsticks, I would only take this Lolita by Kat Von Z, which is this color right here, and Hitchhike Urban Decay. Urban Decay's Hitchhike. So Kat Von Z Lolita and Hitchhike. Lolita is a little bit darker, a little bit more pinker, a little less orangier, but it's so pretty. In fact, if I could dye and only take one lipstick, I would take Kat Von D's Lolita because it has a really good formula and it's not a liquid lipstick, so it's not drying. So it's so nice. But, you know, if I could dye and I needed, like, a bright color with me, then I would take this color. And that's the Steel of Fiery color because it has, like, a really good formula on that color. But, yeah, so these are some of my favorites from the higher end line. There's also some other colors in the Kat Von D line that are also good. And that color, like, a really nice other color that is more bright by the Kat Von D is this color Bachelorette. And... It's a really good spring type of color. It's a very unique kind of Merlot, I think. I think that's what we'll call it. That type of color that's like more pinky. I can't explain it, but it's less like natural looking, so I don't really like, like it as much, but it is really pretty. The formula of it is really good. And uh, another color by the YSL line that's really good, and I get compliments on it, but it's also not very natural looking is this color right here and I think it's called Lorange Lorange and it's also by the YSL Rouge Per Couture and it smells like roses also oh, even from your hand it smells like roses and it stays on so long it has a great formula it's just kind of bright so you know keep that in mind if you don't mind bright colors then you know rock it by all means um another color I really like is from Ricky's I got and it's called Inglot lip pencil and it's in the color 23 it's called in the shade 23 and it's just like a very nice rosy color it's this color right here Inglot 23 I really really like this it's matte it has a good formula and it stays on pretty freaking long so yeah these are some of the higher end products that I enjoy and now I'll move into like the more medium type of products I'm gonna take off these with some coconut oil and yeah, let's hope this works because I do not want to scrub my hands off and hurt myself. But yeah, so I'm taking the coconut oil, rubbing them off. Coconut oil is like a miracle worker, like so good. Yeah, that's how it comes off because like honestly, if I was scrubbing this like you know, with that coconut oil, it would just not come off. And like, that would be a problem because you'd be watching me scraping my arm for, you know, an hour. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So, now that I talked about some of those high-end ones, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite MAC ones. And there's a few of the MAC ones that I really like. Um, they're more similar type of neutral shades, and one of them's a red. Kind of got some coconut oil on my jeans, but it's okay because I have a really good 
cleaning solution to take care of that. But yeah, so this is a nice MAC color called Bricola, and it's a very nice muted type of berryish color. That's Bricola by MAC, and it's an amplified finish, so it's a really good type of creamy, hydrating MAC lipstick. Um, that's one of my favorites, and also this is a really good matte nude uh, by MAC. It's called Persistence, and it's a good nude for my skin tone. That's Persistence. And it's sort of like a brownie, warm nude, and it's a matte finish, so it stays on for a pretty long time. It's it's pretty good. Um, the other MAC matte MAC lipstick I have is called Ruby Woo, and it kind of looks like a dupe for the Stila Fiery, but it's a little bit more blue toned, and it's right here. That's Ruby Woo. Um, so pretty again. It's a little bit on the drying side, so be careful, but very pretty color. Very much like it. And the other one is called, that I have by MAC that I love, is called Cream in Your Coffee. It's a cream sheen finish, and this is how it looks right here. This is it. Cream in Your Coffee. And it's different. Like, it sort of looks like Persistence, but Persistence is matte, and Cream in Your Coffee is very much like, like, different color, and also it's glossy, so. It's a different type of color. But yeah, these are my favorites from MAC. Um, there's also a few lip liners from MAC, but I do have to say that I don't really like the MAC lip liners. I just find them drying for the most part. I don't think they're the best lip liners out there. I think that ColourPop has better lip liners, and even Jordana has good lip liners. But I do have these two from MAC. One of them is Ruby Woo, which, you know, it's kind of just that Ruby Woo color. But these lip liners, first of all, they're like a pencil, and they don't scroll out. Second of all, they dry out your lips. They don't feel nice. They're not worth the $20 whatsoever. ColourPops are like, what, $5, $6? Definitely go ColourPop because they're so creamy and hydrating. And that's advice that I have to take because I still don't have uh, ColourPop lip liners. But yeah, this is the other one by MAC that I have, which I really like actually. It's called MAC Spice. So it's a nice brownish nude. Again, really pretty, really cute, but just it's that formula. Like you have to be okay with that drying aspects to them but yeah so these are the more high-end sec this is the more high-end part of my products that I like and stay tuned for the next video that's going to be the more lower end like drugstore slash ColourPop products okay thanks for watching and have a great day bye, -bye.